you, you know, how's your summer going? You still like working out, you know, getting, getting some, some lifts in and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, I just been working out with my trainer about three, four times a week. We, uh, we get in, we lift, we try to go full body almost every day. Um, pretty much, you know, with this, this COVID going on, like basically the only thing I can do is besides getting up shots, but gyms still aren't open. So try to make, make use of what I have. And you're, you're down in Maryland? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully everyone in your family is thinking of staying safe and healthy. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, what uh, Have you been watching a lot of stuff on, like, Netflix? Or I'm sure with NBA, with the bubble action, are you tuning into that a lot too? Yeah, I, um, I started watching the bubble when it first started. I mean, at first I didn't like it, but um, I'm starting to come around to it. And uh, right now my favorite guy in the bubble is T.J. Warren. I think he averaged like 39 points. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now as far as Netflix, um, I started watching a show called In the Dark. Um, it's a pretty good show. I like it. Uh, I, I won't tell the people too much about it. They got to watch it themselves. It's in the dark. Yeah, I think I watched episode or season one of that, and then I think yeah. season two just came out not too long ago. So I have yeah. to I'll watch that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the bubble concept for the NBA is pretty interesting. Luckily, it seems to be working for them uh, down there in Disney. But you know, we'll see if it you know, hopefully it stays stays the way it is. Right. Uh, I mean, for for your season, uh, you know, nothing has been affected yet in terms of, you know, nothing was affected for you in the spring with basketball. And right now, knock on wood, nothing's, you know, for for this upcoming basketball season. But uh, looking back to last season, what were kind of your, your favorite moments of the year? I know it was your first year with Keystone after transfer in here. So. Um. Uh, we had a lot of great moments last year. Uh, <laughs> I would say probably my favorite moment of last year was the game we played at York College. And they got, well, we, we were up on them big. They got, then they went up on us about five minutes ago. I think they went up on us about eight. And then, like, we just started to come back on them. And then, of course, you know that, that, that video that you posted on YouTube, um, Coop drew up a little play. We ran it. We perfected it. <laughs> and then I had the buzzer beater. That was probably my favorite moment of last season, just because, like, like to see, like, the whole gamble into it and it's all my teammates running out on the court, it was, like, it was, like, such a surreal feeling. Like, I don't know. Like, it was crazy. The atmosphere was crazy that game. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was an awesome buzzer beater. That was, uh, you know, when you're sitting there on press row, you can't really – you got to be neutral, but I know. <laughs> you to jump up and down and celebrate with right. what happened. Yeah. Uh, so in, ter in terms of, uh, uh, you know, moving forward to next year, what have you kind of been working on your game with, you know, improving? So as far as next year, um, like I I've been locking it with my strength trainer, like, a whole lot. I've taken that a lot serious. I picked up, I think, about 10 pounds in muscle now. So I just, I just want to get stronger that way, like, getting to the line, I'm finishing through a lot of contact from now on. And um, also I want to like do like a better job of my decision making. So when I've been working out, I've just been picking the right places to make the pass or when I should make the shot. Um, I feel as though with that, like it cuts down on, on turnovers. If I didn't have a bad assist turnover ratio this year, but I feel as though I can always improve on that. And the more shots I get my teammates, the more shots we get up. And really whoever gets the most shots up in the game has a better chance of winning. So. If I actually work on my strength, my decision making, those are like I can lead us in the right direction. Yeah, I mean that was like your your go to game, especially early on in the season. You were you were going to the foul line 15, 16, 17 times a yeah. game. And you know, you know, shooting shooting lights out from the foul line. So if you can continue that next season, it'll be definitely a force to be reckoned with. Right. Uh what uh uh, have you been in touch with, with Coach Cooper and your teammates throughout this whole in the layoff since March? Yeah, so um, at first we were just like, we were just kind of all just unsure of everything, you know, and it's like everybody's calling section of Coop, like what's going on, how's our season going to be affected, and like basically Coop's just been telling all of us like we just got to stay like, like we just got to stay positive and like we just got to be ready for any situation that's thrown at us, so 
say we only play like conference games, we just got to be ready for that. Or say we, we do get to play like most of our season, we just got to be ready for anything. So he just wants us to stay like mentally strong and, uh, you know, just keep grinding, do what we got to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was rooting for you guys towards the end of last year, of course, you know, trying to make that playoff push. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen, but it was, you know, it was very, very competitive throughout the CSAC play. And uh, you know, hopefully for your senior year, you could get to that, that stage, make a good playoff playoff run. Because I think, you know, if you guys would have got sneaked, snuck in there as a 3-4 seed, no one would have wanted to play it because you guys are playing. Nobody, especially towards the end of the year when we started making that run. We were looking really scary. Really scary. Yeah, I have a nice one-two combo with you and Jeremy, uh, Jordan. So, uh, you know, both first team all conference and some nice accolades there. Uh, what were your thoughts about, you know, you, you got a nice D3 Hoops Award there and a Cosida Award. What were your thoughts, you know, when, when they came came in? Um, It was honestly just a good feeling. I mean, I know, like, in the season, like, we didn't accomplish our goals what we wanted to accomplish. But I felt I felt as though like when like just receiving like those accolades and awards, um, I had my freshman sophomore year like I hadn't really been getting that, uh, was barely recognized. So like just to have that recognition and just receiving those awards and like just to just know like that my name is creating buzz like it, it felt good. Yeah, it was, it was definitely you know well earned for you. Uh, I know I was lucky to have you in a class as an adjunct professor, and you want to you know. Yeah top the line students there in the marketing class. So, uh, it was nice to see you get some recognition outside of the basketball court with, with Cosida. So that was, that was nice to see. Uh, any, any like words of wisdom for your teammates kind of this summer? Uh, just kind of, you kind of mentioned there, just keep persevering and be positive. Um, one more time, Matt, I mean, I, Brian, I didn't really hear you on that. One more time. It kind of froze up. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> Like words of wisdom for your teammates. I know, I know some might be going through a little more than, than others, but uh, you kind of mentioned it before, just kind of persevering and staying positive. Yeah, so basically, like, just to my teammates and honestly to all athletes, just, like, just stay ready. Because, like, honestly, we never really know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. But whatever, whatever happens, like, we just got to be ready for any situation. So... They call us, tell us, okay, we're playing this certain date, so we got this amount of practices to do this and that, X, Y, and Z. We just got to be ready. We got to be ready to, from the jump just to get out there and, you know, just tackle it like with a full head of steam. I like, I like that, yeah. I mean, you can't, can't be sitting around complacent and, you know, not being in shape and not, you know, being ready. Right. So, you know, flip that switch as soon as, they, as soon as the time comes and they call your name and you'll be ready to go. So, hopefully right. – It'll be happening later this this year. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. Th thanks for taking the time today, Tone. I'm doing a couple of these, you know, this week and next week, and uh, just trying to get catch up with the juniors and seniors and anybody coming in, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, you're seeing campus coming up here soon. Definitely. I appreciate the time, Ryan. Absolutely, Tone. Well, stay stay healthy, stay safe, stay stay in shape, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. See. You. All right. Thank you. All right.